Hi, my name is Dan with DroneBlog.com. Today, we will have a high-level overview of what ND and CPO filters are, as well as a step-by-step -step tutorial showing how to remove the Mini 3 Pro's original lens cap and install and remove ND and CPO filters. If you'd like to view the step-by-step -step tutorial immediately, feel free to use the video chapters. The Mini 3 Pro has a fixed aperture of f1.7, allowing it to take in more light through the lens than, say, the f.28 aperture found in the Mavic 3 and Air 2S, although those drones do have larger overall camera sensors. What does this mean for Mini 3 Pro owners? Well, it means that if you shoot in manual mode, you'll need a way to precisely control the light that comes into the camera or even modify the light captured in your photos or videos prior to working in a photo or video editor. Now, ND, or neutral density filters, act as sunglasses for your drone's camera, letting less light into the sensor. This is especially useful for those that shoot videos manually and would like to maintain the 180 degree rule which dictates the shutter speed should be double the frames per second to maintain the proper motion blur which we're used to seeing. This basically means if you're shooting a 4K video at 24 frames per second, you'll want the shutter speed to be 1 48th second or the closest to 1 48th second which in the Mini 3 Pro's case would be 1 50th of a second. Now note this, ND filters aren't just for video shooters though. They can be useful for those that take still images and need to play with the shutter speed for motion blur while maintaining a certain aperture. Because the aperture is f1.7 in the Mini 3 Pro, when shooting video on a sunny day, it would be impossible to shoot at a 1 50th of a second shutter and be able to see the video correctly, as the video would basically be all white. This is where choosing the proper strength ND filter comes into play. You'll be able to achieve the correct shutter speed while having a properly exposed video. Now on the other hand, we have CPL or Circular Polarizer Linear Filters. These are used to reduce the polarizing light glare that bounces off reflective surfaces, which for drones in particular would most likely come from bodies of water, windows on buildings, or cars. When using a CPL filter, the polarizing light is reduced to a point where you are left with richer skies, greener trees, and sharper images. CPL filters have a rotating dial on them that allow you to apply the effect to the correct position to filter out unwanted light and glare. Now, to remove the lens cap, with the Mini 3 Pro facing you, preferably on a table, with one hand, pinch the camera between your thumb and index finger. Now, with your other free hand, gently grasp the lens cap between your thumb and index finger. Gently twist the lens cap counterclockwise. It will then click and dislodge. Now you can remove the lens cap and put it in a safe place, as you'll most likely not keep the CPL or ND filters on permanently. We actually suggest putting the lens cap in the same storage case your ND or CPL filters are in. Now for installing an ND or CPL filter, you'll want to make sure the Mini 3 Pro is still on the table facing you. Now to attach the ND or CPL filter, choose the appropriate strength filter for your needs. With the Mini 3 Pro facing you, place the filter on the camera at a slight angle, ensuring it sits in the grooves. Now we'll twist the filter on in a clockwise motion. You will feel a slight click and the filter should now stay in place. If the filter does not stay in place, this may be because the filter is not seated in the grooves of the camera completely. If this is the case, simply remove the filter and try again. Now after your day of shooting has been completed, and if you choose to, reconnecting the lens cap to the Mini 3 Pro is as simple as repeating the above steps in reverse. So to put the lens cap back on, with the Mini 3 Pro facing you, with one hand, pinch the camera between your thumb and index finger. With your other free hand, Gently grasp the ND or CPL filter between your thumb and index finger. 
gently twist the filter counterclockwise again until you hear it click and dislodge. You can now remove the current filter. Now pick up the original Mini 3 Pro lens cap. With the Mini 3 Pro facing you, place the lens cap on the camera at a slight angle, ensuring it sits in the grooves. Now twist the lens cap on in a clockwise motion. You'll feel a slight click and the cap should now stay in place. Well that's all for this video. If you find these types of video tutorials helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.